დიდი სიამოვნებით გადაუცემ სიტყვას ამერიკის შეერთებული შტატების ვიცე პრეზიდენტ ბატონ ჯო ბაიდენს. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed my exceptional pleasure, honor and privilege to give a floor to the Vice President of the United States, Mr. Joe Biden. Mr. Vice President, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the Parliament, distinguished leaders, friends all, I, uh, I thank you for this great honor. If I do consider it an honor to be given the floor in your Parliament. I speak not only on behalf of myself as Vice President, but I speak for my President, President Obama, as well as my country. I come here on behalf of the United States with a simple, straightforward message. We, the United States, stand by you on your journey to a secure, free, democratic, and once again, united Georgia. It's a journey nearly a century in the making. In May of 1918, the National Council of Georgia, this very body under a different name, declared independence, much as my own nation did 150 years before that. Three years later, you adopted a constitution, a brave declaration of your freedom and independence, even under the imminent threat of an attack. One month later, the Bolshevik occupation was complete, and this parliament met for the last time until the end of the century. It was a journey halted before it began, but the journey renewed in 1989 as the cries for freedom rang throughout Georgia once again, only to be stopped one more time by the last gasp of a dying empire. Two years later, you declared your independence again, and a seed planet generations before became a rose about to bloom. Georgia's first post-Soviet experiment with democracy was tainted with civil strife. Economic hardship and a backward drift toward undemocratic rule. Then, just six years ago, the Rose Revolution sounded a clarion call for freedom and democracy that was literally heard around the world. I still draw inspiration from that moment and the journey you have taken. I remember watching in awe as you stood straight and tall. So did millions of people around the world whose quest for freedom is not yet complete. One year ago, as the speaker referenced, I came to Georgia under very different circumstances. I was advised by many not to come. I was told that it wasn't a particularly opportune moment. But I wanted to make clear why your independence was so important to my country and the world. Instead of standing in your parliament, I sat on the rooftop of a restaurant with President Saakashvili as the sound of artillery fire and fighter aircraft punctuated the night. On that rooftop, I pledged America's support to Georgia in my status as a United States Senate. And I here today pledge it again as Vice President of the United States of America.
I pledge it not only on my behalf, but on behalf of President Barack Obama. This visit to Tbilisi, to, to Tbilisi, comes deliberately right after President Obama's trip to Moscow. For as he was planning his trip, as he was planning his trip, he instructed me to plan my trip to Tbilisi. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that some are concerned, and I understand it, that our efforts to reset relations with Russia will come at the expense of Georgia. Let me be clear. They have not, they will not, and they cannot. As I said, as I said in Munich, in the first days after our administration was sworn in, and as President Obama, I might add, reasserted two weeks ago in Moscow, we stand by the principle that sovereign democracies have the right to make their own decisions and choose their own partnerships and their own alliances. We stand against the 19th century notion of spheres of influence. It has no place in the 21st century. We will not, we will not recognize Abkhazia and South Ossetia as independent states.